Hey, hey, it's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, January 20th, 2014. I'm James Spann. Uh, what a great day today, but hey, we go right into the deep freeze tomorrow. We stay there for a while as very cold air returns. Hope you enjoyed the one-day break. Uh, in fact, let's look out the window. It just doesn't get any better for a midwinter day in Alabama. Bright sunshine, temperatures in many areas in the lower 60s. That's coming from uh, Trussville. Sky cam there, uh, Chalkville Mountain Road. Up north, the mighty Tennessee River is seen from our sky cam in Decatur. And down south, a few high clouds around. That's our Gulf Shore sky cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites overlooking the hangout and the public beach on a great midwinter day. Ooh, yes, it feels good. Temperatures around here between 60 and 65 in most locations. Birmingham at 62, Tuscaloosa 64. Look at Huntsville and the Shoals coming in at 64 up north. But, yep, here we go. Sub-zero cold at midday on the Canadian border, and that's going to drop south rapidly. We feel that tomorrow with howling northwest winds. Uh, doubtful we get out of the 30s, and the wind chill index much of the day will stay below freezing. So, uh that's why we hope you enjoyed the weather today. Now, if you're traveling, we've got winter storm warnings in effect for uh, much of Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Southern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware. I would include Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Uh, they could see three, five, maybe six inches of snow there tomorrow. Quick kind of a quick, hit, quick hitting snowstorm. Winter weather advisories down into Kentucky and the Great Smoky Mountains of East Tennessee and Western North Carolina. And the counties highlighted in Alabama, those are wind advisories for uh, the Birmingham uh, CWA, their county warning area, for strong northwest winds tomorrow at 15 to 25 miles an hour, gusting maybe to 35 at times. And again, that is going to be an icy wind. And precipitation for the next five days, nothing significant. That's suggesting maybe a trace and there might be a snow flurry or two along the way, but it's a very dry pattern setting up here. All right, model fans, let's take a look at the uh, GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. You can see the trough digging down through the southeastern states, and there's that push of very cold air with that surface low that's over North Carolina. That's going to make for a, a tight pressure gradient. you got a 1034 high to the west, a 1001 low to the east. And again, those northwest winds are going to be screaming. I'd say they'll average 15 to 30, maybe gusting to 35. And on top of the surface low in North Carolina, a snowstorm for West Virginia, over toward Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Northern Virginia, Delaware, Maryland. And uh, with the surge of cold air, the high-res NAM trying to print a few snow flurries uh, over the uh, Tennessee Valley of North Alabama. Uh, this is uh, valid tomorrow at 11 a.m. And uh, again, down this way, I guess it is possible somebody could see a snow flurry or two, but it, it won't cause any problems, won't amount to anything. The cold air is the big story. Uh, it is doubtful we get much out of the 40s. In fact, there's the uh, uh, temperature plot for the next seven days. Uh, tomorrow, the GFS prints a high of 42, but the NAM is at 38. And really beyond that, it's unlikely we get out of the 30s on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. In fact, on Thursday and Friday, we'll struggle to get above the freezing mark, as you can see. That red line is the freezing line, 32 Fahrenheit. It's just going to be a, a, a cold period. In fact, four consecutive mornings with a hard freeze. Uh, this is Wednesday. Uh, now, the high Wednesday coming off the GFS showing at 39 after a low in the teens, we'll start the day between 15 and 19. This is Thursday. A whopping 1046 high comes down the pike. Another windy day. Uh, Thursday looks windy with a tight pressure gradient. Uh, I don't know if we get above the freezing mark. Uh, we'll forecast a high right around 32. The winds are going to make it feel colder. Uh, this is Friday. Friday morning is going to be very cold as the surface high settles in near Memphis. Uh, the GFS printing a low of 13. The high Friday afternoon, 35. So, again, on Thursday and Friday, we'll have a hard time getting above freezing. We might do it. It'll be a close call. And this air, not quite as cold as the air we saw earlier this month, but trust me, it's cold enough. Now, Saturday as we start the weekend, Saturday morning is going to be cold. We go down in the teens again, but the day will begin a warm-up. Uh, we think Saturday we'll see a high in the uh, upper 40s, and this is Sunday. A chance we'll see low 50s, and actually there's another clipper coming down the line north of us. And here's Monday of next week, and the trough is still in place, and 
Again, uh, the air a little colder, not much. This is uh, suggesting maybe highs dropping back in the 40s on Monday. But again, you know, along the way, somebody might see a snowflake or two, a snow flurry, but uh, significant precipitation not likely for the next seven days. Uh, do we dare look into February? This is the 2nd of February. A little storm coming through with a batch of showers. A couple of days later, turns cold again. And then the end of the forecast on the 5th of February. Got a trough off the East Coast. A dry, chilly air mass in place. It's just the, the basic idea that the mean trough continues in the east, the mean ridge continues in the west, and more than likely temperatures here will average below average for the next uh, 15 days or so. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.